Like, you know, you, we never talked about doing a record with R. Kelly. Or did we? No, yeah. We didn't get into it, you right? Yeah, I record with R. Kelly, too. Yeah, I did a video. <laughs> 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 I did a video. Yeah. <laughs> You got a whole video. Yeah, 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 yeah. How was it? How was it? Come on. Let's just be clear. Man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I met the nigga twice. First time was when Swiss and them niggas took me to Chicago to record the record. So Swiss is the, the plug, dog, Kelly. Let's be clear. Yeah. yeah he was Swiss your plug. And, uh, Swiss, and Grady, Swiss and Grady is definitely the plug. This is my first. I ain't had no singles out. I ain't had no records out. I ain't had shit out. They just opened up my budget. I did a lot of the songs, and they like, yo, you need a single with a big single on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some shit that we, because I was on J Records. Uh, they like, they don't need no Def Jam record. They need a record that's top 40 that they can, oh, you know. Yeah, they need that type of Give record. That so, so we go in there. Like, Clive, like, where's that record at? Like, where's the, where's the, where's yeah, the record? Chicago? Yeah, so, nah, not that first. Some other names came up, some other ideas came up. What other names up. came up? Could man, that was so long ago, man. I can't remember, man. I ain't gonna lie. I don't wanna do that, because I might, I might be, it's, I don't remember. But it was some, whoever was, whoever was big at yeah, that time. That's what I'm trying to see, like, who was on like, the level like that. Like, at, at the same time as R. Yeah, Kelly, yeah. definitely those names came up. Because uh -huh. you said Jay Records, Clive Davis yeah, money. Yeah, like, so all of the big your, singers. Your budget's unlimited. All of the big singers right yeah. there came up, right? Could have got out the bars if you then, wanted. Then I remember. Was Jamie already said, out? R. Kelly. Jamie Fox I said, that time? R. Kelly. Damn, what the fuck? Huh? I said, what's the fuck? R. Kelly. Who's that? Yeah. Grady. Grady, like, yo, you want to do something with R. Kelly? I think we go out there and fly in Chicago, do something. I'm like, what the fuck? R. Mm. Kelly. Hell yeah. Let's mm. get it. Because mm. I know my older, like, my god brother died. He like 11 years older than me. That's my old age. He used to have a hood on Smash. He used to take me around. They used to be playing R. Kelly. He and believed this he could fly. R. Kelly did a gangster, gangster with a gun in the car that could wow. box and anything playing R. Kelly. And the girls used girls. to love it. So I used to be like, yo, R. Kelly, that nigga as a young boy. So when they suggested me to do something with R. Kelly, I'm like, hell yeah, let's get it. So they flew me out there to Chicago, took me in the studio. The nigga come out in the studio. He had a cape on <laughs> nah, he had on some regular shit. Wow. Um, he came out though. He came out, right? We explained it to him. We like, yo, we got this song, we wanna do hotel, like like ladies going to hotel, all this shit. And then we he like, let me hear the beat. Soon as the beat came on, the nigga started going crazy. Like he started doing all these different hoo 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 and started doing all these melodies and shit. Then he went in the booth and went crazy. Like, the remix to Hotel, he did all that. He did, like, Wild More Court. Like, Swiss got Wild More Choruses from R. Kelly from the same session, and he did a lot of shit from the same session. Mm. It's just we used that little piece for the Hotel hook. You know what I'm saying? But he went crazy. I'm like, yo, this nigga's a genius. And then we went back to the Hotel. Swiss like, yo, we got this nigga R. Kelly on this shit. And then we wrote we wrote the shit right in the hotel. I'm like, we could go get the cracking, but you know what that happened. We be under the covers. I came up right with that shit in the actual hotel with Swiss. And then, you know what I'm saying, we went back and recorded it and it was a hit. And the second time I seen that man was when he showed up with the mask on at the video shoot. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have a cape. He had a mask. <laughs> Yo, my nigga, I'm like, I'm thinking too, like, this is my video. We in Chicago. I'm super excited. This is my first video. It's like, I mean, I did big business, but I'm talking about my personal video. Right. Like, even though R. Kelly in it is my video, like, right. this is my budget, my right. shit. <laughs> and we in Chicago, it's Ferraris, it's all type of shit outside. We got big ass mansions, there's all these video girls running around. I'm like, I'm feeling like I'm on top of the world. And then they like, yo, R. Kelly here. I'm like, yes, because I didn't think the nigga was gonna come. The nigga showed him, like, yes. R. Kelly come in there with the mask on. Mm. I'm like, but I could tell it's R. Kelly. So I'm like. <laughs> well, you wanted like, him to take the mask off? Yeah. This no one's going to pay a lot of money. No one's going to know it's you. Everybody know that I accomplished shit after that. But this is my first single. Niggas don't know that I'm I'm worth nothing. This is R. Kelly. That's like, crazy. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm asking, like, like, I'm happy I got a budget open. This is my first single. I'm like, damn, I've been dying for this. I was signing Rough Riders for all these years. Ain't had no fucking budget. Now I finally got one. I'm shooting a video. And they bringing this nigga R. Kelly out. So I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. And then a nigga show up with the mask. So I was like, yo, my nigga, like, 
But I gotta accept it. I'm like, yo, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. You never took the mask off? Six in the morning, right next to the nigga with the mask. Like, look, man, fuck it. Checking out six in the morning. I don't got no fucking mask on. You see me, like, Cass is in there. No, but it was just the eyes, though, right? It was just the eyes, right? I don't know why he did it. That's weird enough. my nigga. He did that for the that man. He didn't have this on, right? my nigga, thank you. He had this on, then we should have been worried. It's crazy. Because did that mean he would take the COVID? I appreciate you. Look. That's like, yo, I'm not at yo, He never thanks, took the mask off? Thanks for coming out, bro. I appreciate this shit, yo. He never this took the mask off? This shit about to change my life. I'm never going to stop performing hotel. So if I would have had a discrepancy because he got on some masks and I would have tried to dispute, then the he man would have been discrepancy like, you got to worry about. fucking ungrateful <laughs> bitch. Yeah, they not, why would I come to your video? I'm leaving. And then the nigga just leave. Now, now you don't got no video. Now you saying yeah. something about telling the nigga to take the mask. I don't give a fuck if the nigga would have came with a a baboon costume on. I don't give a fuck what R. Kelly would have showed up in, I would have shot it. I was a young boy. Let's get it. <laughs> I was excited. Let's make some noise for that, I think. <laughs> <laughs>